In this video, I'll show you the step-by-step -step method of making this isometric drawing in ZWCAD. This is actually a line drawing created in 2D workspace, but it's made to look like a 3D drawing using isometric drawing technique. So with that, let's get started. All right, so the first step is, well, preparing your drawing for isometric drawing. So in this case, we have this orthographic plane, so we need to change that first. And we can do it simply by right clicking here on the grid display and going to the settings option. Now here you can see that the snap type is rectangular snap, just change it to isometric, click OK. And you'll notice two changes. The first is grid, the grid has changed though it may not look like much but it is now rectangular and not square type that's because it's now tilted to an angle of 30 degrees another thing is the cursor it is also tilted to an angle of 30 degrees now if you want to change the plane of this cursor then you can do that using f5 function key so if i press f5 there it is it's changing the plane and that's called isometric plane so you can change different isometric plane like top left right Alternatively, you can type ISO plane, press enter, and then you can select a plane which you want from this list, which I don't want to use. Rather, I'll use F5 function key because it's a lot easier. Okay, also I don't want the grid, so I'll deactivate the grid. The next step is changing the isometric angle. So isometric drawings are made at an angle of 30 degrees. So I'll right click here on the polar tracking. I'll go to settings. And in the increment angle, I'll add 30. Click OK. And we are done. So with that, let's now start making the drawing. So now I'll go to line tool and here I'll start with a simple line of length five and I'm gonna move in this direction, which is 30 degrees, five again, enter, this direction, five again, enter, join it here. Now move up and that's gonna be 10 unit. All right, now five again here, enter and join it here. Okay, so this shape is done. Now let's copy these three lines and I'll go to copy, I'll click here and in this direction, I'm going to move to a distance of 1.5 and done. All right, I'll repeat the process for these three lines. So these three lines, copy, I'll select it and I'm going to move it down. And the distance is once again 1.5. And there we are, we are done. Okay, now let's go to fillet. Now it may look very counterintuitive, but here we can add fillet to merge these two lines. So I'll just select this and this and that's going to merge because, well, Technically, this is a fillet of radius zero. So that's how it's going to work. Also, we don't need this line and this, which we will trim in a moment. But first, let's add more details in the drawing. To do that, I'll go to line. And now I'll add this line joining this point to this. Another line joining this point to this. Okay. Now you can see how it's taking shape. So let's now trim it to make it even clearer. So I'll go to trim tool and I'm just going to trim actually this entire line. It's not required. So I'll delete it completely and this one as well. Okay, now let's make a circle. Now you simply cannot use a regular circle here. We need to use ISO circle for this case. And before we do that, I need to make the circle on this plane. So I need to change the plane as well. Right now I'm making everything on top plane. So I'll just press F5 so that this plane is activated, which is ISO plane, right? And now I'll go to axis and ellipse. All right, now here you can see that we have an option called ISO circle. So type I, press enter and ISO circle is active. Now click at this midpoint and make the circle that looks like this. Now I'll repeat the process. So I'll go to axis end, ISO circle, select the same center and I'll make another one with 1.2 radius and there we are, it's done. You know what, it should be actually 1.4. So I'll just select it and let's just scroll down you know what, it should be actually 1.4. So I'll maybe just delete it because you simply cannot change the radius from here property. So I'll just delete it and I'll go to this again and I enter for the ISO circle, select this point and the radius is 1.4. There we are. Okay, now that this is done, let's clean it up a little bit here from this side. So maybe I don't need this line and this line. So I'll just delete these two. And also I'll go to trim and I'll trim this part of the circle. We don't need that. Also, we don't need this line, so I'll delete that as well. Okay, this is done. Now, I'll simply copy and paste these two sections, these two curves. So I'll select it, and I'll go to Copy, select any point, 
just move it in this direction and as you know the distance is 1.5 so 1.5 enter and we are done so there it is now all we need is a little bit of cleanup work to just make it look clean of course so i'll go to trim and the first one is this should go this and this also this should go there we are now it's completely clean now we need to make another circle right here so again i'll change my plane and here it is we are again at the top plane and let's go to this iso circle option so i enter and now i'll make it exactly here at the center so as you can see there is no tracking line so maybe i'll just first draw a line like that and now i'll go to iso circle and right here we'll make it so there we are and now in this case i'll add a radius of 1.5 and we are done now we can delete this line it's no longer required also i'll just copy and paste this circle so select and click the center move it down and the distance is as you know 1.5 and enter once again a little bit of cleanup is required so go to trim and let's trim this 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 and this there we are now finally there is one more thing which is this line right here now to make it look more realistic we just need to add this but you can do that only with quadrant as you can see in my case quadrant is active so if you don't have quadrants just go to object snap right click and activate this quadrant option after activating it go to line tool and just hover it here and you're going to see the quadrant so select this quadrant and then select the second quadrant here and we're done now we'll trim this small section here so go to trim trim this section and the isometric drawing is finished so that's how you can make it. So that was the step-by-step -step method of making an isometric drawing in ZWCAD. If you have questions, do let me know in the comments down below and I'll see you in the next one.